I don't have a mount, so you're literally sitting like against my dashboard. It's a little crusty, but this is the best we can do. I feel like it might be kind of cool that you can see my wheel turning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going uphill. Please don't fall. Nice, guys. You made it up the hill. I'm so proud of you. I'm speeding and there's a sheriff. Oh my god. I'm actually not speeding. Nice. Insanely windy today. So I hope that doesn't mess up the audio that much either. But today was just too exciting to not vlog in the car. It's too exciting. I can't handle it. My entire life has been leading up to this day. I don't know. My mom finally gave in. No, the problem is my hamster is going to have to come with me to college next year. So I might have to hide him from the landlord because I don't know if we're technically allowed. Like, okay, we're definitely not allowed to have pets. But I know you can get like special permission to have them. But I'm not sure he would like give us special permission for a hamster. You know what? It doesn't matter because this is the best idea I've ever had. And I finally convinced my mom to let me have a hamster. Funny story, I remember in elementary school, so that's like fourth grade or under, I remember going to the library and getting books on hamsters and just taking them home and being like, mom, can I have one? And her being like, oh. And then I'd get one of a rabbit and do the same thing and a guinea pig and a hedgehog and a chinchilla and a bird and a dog and a cat and nothing. We have two cats now. However, I have too much love to give and not enough things or people in my life to give it to. Ah! Ah! I'm so excited, oh my God. I'm gonna cry. It's fine. I'm, I'm literally an adult and I'm going to cry over the fact that I finally get to have a hamster. The thought of me picking up the wheel and the little water bottle and bringing it to the register and buying it is too much and I can't handle this. It's like two hours later, but I did get everything that I needed except for a hamster and a wheel because I don't know what kind of hamster I'm getting yet. So I don't know which size wheel to get. I had to drive 45 minutes away from my house to uh, come to this pet smart because my other one didn't have lids and I have two cats. The first one I went to, they had them all in the little carry out boxes because carry out the little to-go boxes <laughs> they had them in the little boxes because they must have been cleaning the cages or something um so i have seen zero hamsters all day it's fine though i got all my stuff i'm having a good time by myself i love spending time by myself something like this i was like oh my god i should make a friend to go with me and then i was like no one's more fun than me by myself that's not true but i wish it was true so we're working on it well now i have to drive back to the other town okay guys i'm home i have the tank these my little cats okay and then i got this bedding i got this food i did a bunch of research and this one's best for like picky hamsters and in case mine's picky i just wanted to get one that they would eat for sure and i got this little water bottle a lid for the tank so that my cats won't be able to get to him okay and i wanted to make him a little loft thing so that like he can have extra space in his cage so i got this little platform it has a little hole in it but i don't think he'll fit through it so <laughs> and then i got this dowel that i'm gonna have to cut and make four little legs out of and then i have this little ramp and some tiny little popsicle sticks that will be like the little stairs on it and then so he doesn't fall off I got this tiny little phone. <laughs> it's so cute. Hi guys, it's two days later. Long story short, I returned all of the stuff because I decided I wasn't getting the hamster and then I repurchased all of it. <laughs> so I got like different treats instead. Everything else is exactly the same. So I'm just putting together the cage right now. There is like a hamster that I have picked out that is at Petco and I'm gonna pick him up tomorrow morning. His name right now is queso <laughs> i think that's really cute i don't know if i'll keep it but i'll let you guys know okay guys this is the cage that we have set up right now i have the water bottle and the wheel and then i buried two little toilet paper rolls in the bedding and i made it like really thick so that 
he has a lot of space to dig little tunnels and stuff. I'm gonna get a house and then obviously like a bunch of chew toys and stuff. And then he has a little ladder leading up to this where he has a little food dish. And then I put some toilet paper pieces up there so that he has like another bedding material for his nest and then i have just that little fence all of the wood is pet safe um the fence i'm gonna make sure he doesn't chew on it and if he does i'll replace it with something else because it does have like a metal wire in it and i know that that could be dangerous so i will definitely be careful about that but i'm so excited to get his little house and everything tomorrow and then I also got this treat mix. It came in a bag, but I just put it in this little jar so that they would stay fresh. But hopefully he likes these treats, I guess. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Guess where I'm on my way to the pet store to adopt my new little hamster. And I'm so excited. Funny story, my car doesn't go into park by itself, so I have to manually put it into park with a... Um, with this little tool but it's fine um we're going with it we're thriving um basically wife material at this point oh my god Time. 